many people would have stopped recording then and had sorted out that they were eating some grub and then started afterwards, but not Steve Dog. Monty asked me today if I could run Gardner's Worth for him yet again. I said, of course I can, Monty, but I can't today because I'm going to be off recording a record to go on my YouTube channel. So I'm going to hand this over to Monty Dog. Not Monty Don, Monty Dog. Sit back and enjoy this week's Gardener's World. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mon Monty Dog. Welcome to Gardener's World. Let's see what we got to do in the garden today. Right, so here we are in Potting Corner. And we're not doing any potting today, but we are in a corner. So what we're going to do first of all, we need to just make sure that we clean out some areas in this springtime. Look at that, look. Don't stand, little tip here, don't stand next to windy doors, okay? See that, that wind catching that door in that shed? Just be careful of that. What we need to do today is we need to clear out all the ground scrub. This is things like um, ivy. So. This is Ivy Ivanus. You don't want this, not, not overtaking the garden, you know, it's all very well in bits and pieces. This here is what we call, let's turn the camera around, let's show you a bit more. This here is a lovely Spirea. Now this, the Spirea Spireus, um, does flower later in the season. As you can see, it's got these beautiful maroons and has golds and all sorts coming through on the leaves. Something we want to nurture. So although we're trimming around in around the base of our plants we've got to be very selective making sure we know what we're taking and what we're le leaving on we go here just starting to go over the lesser celandine celandinus celandini now these are actually native to this country but they provide very very good ground cover through the through the winter months sat in here with these lovely cornflowers cornflowers Corn flower Eva, those are. Um, we're going to quickly go through the garden here. Um, here we have some Japanese anemones. We're going to be taking these out later on. We're going to be taking them out because we're going to be planting something else in this area. Okay, so we're going to get onto that in a moment. Here we are with a, a fuchsia that actually did flower last year. This is fuchsia, fuchsia wildfire. And as you can see, it looks a little bit ragged, doesn't it? But you can see it's actually starting to come through here and also here as well. See that here and here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna snip off what we call, this is getting a bit technical now, pointy bits. Okay, so if you snip off the pointy bits, these are high quality secateurs that you can use, but you can also use cheap ones as well. It doesn't really matter. And just watch this in a moment. You'll see how I've trimmed this back in. And there you have it. I think you'll agree. It looks quite beautiful now. Get rid of that bit there, don't know that bit. Get rid of it, just oik it out if you need to. Get technical now. But that now will flower um, June, right through to the end of August. <laughs> hope you enjoyed that bit of pruning I just heard Steve dog over there I think he's back from his recording expert escalades um, let's go to Steve dog in the herb garden but first of all just take a look at the garden and what we've done with it this year please just sit back and enjoy these views of the garden Thank you, Mon Monty Dog. 
and what lovely views those were. Now, just very quickly, jobs for the weekend. Let's do a job for the weekend. Here we are in the herb garden, and as we can see, our time here is really getting quite vivacious at this time of year. And what we might do later is we can trim this back. We can cut it back. We can cut it back quite harshly. It will then, um, it will then start to um, just regenerate growth through the lower regions of the nucleus of the plant. So as you can see, that is sage. That is sage. Remember that, guys. If anyone says it's time, they're joshing. I was just joshing then. This here is this is sage. This one here is thyme, and we've got different types of thyme here. We've got a this one's called um, orangey thyme, and it's got citrus notes in the flavouring. And this here is called greeny thyme, thymus greenus. Okay, and then let's look at what else we've got in here. Wow, the oregano, sometimes referred to as oregano, is looking great at this time of year. Just see the colours and the freshness of these herbs, okay? What are we doing here? Absolutely nothing. But what I will do is probably trim in the old sage. That's the one, the sage. I'm going to trim the sage back. Here we have just starting to come through now our chives and um, the Bee Gees once sung about these. Um, of course, I'm talking about chives. These guys were chive talking. You see what I did there? So these need nothing doing. This one here, we're, we're going to just prune it back and it'll be ready for the new season. Wow. How good was that in that in the herb garden there? A cornucopia. Yeah, a cornucopia of herbs for the new season. Right, now it's time just to plant some seeds. It's the right time of year to do this. Plant seeds in the spring. Get the reap, reap the rewards of those seeds plantings later in the year. What do we plant today, Steve Dog? This is Steve Dog plants some seeds special feature. Here we are. Now, what are we planting today? We're planting campion seeds. Now these here are from my mum. Yes, my mum got these. Steve Dog's mum got these. She likes to brag, hence she's called them champion seeds. Anyone who knows anyone called champion will probably not be wanting of those. But anyway, these are campion seeds, so don't worry. What have we done here? What we've done here is I've removed an old pot and let's just, let's just level that up a bit out of here. And to be fair, do you know, the soil in here has got good foundation because last year when we put this in, it really was properly prepared by Steve Dog. So what we're going to do is we're going to pat that down, make it nice and flat. And then what we're going to do then is we're going to carefully sow the seeds. So let's do that right now. What, I, what I've done since you've been away is I just shoveled a bit of the soil to one side and then I'm going to sprinkle these seeds in. They're tiny little dudes. They're little tiny little things. They're like poppy seeds. Bear in mind these little guys are normally out in the wild seeding themselves. I'm now just going to co cover those over with that. Just cover them over a bit, Steve Dog. And then a bit on this side as well. Chuck a few more in. Oops, a bit too many there. That doesn't matter. There's, there are other things in here. There's some yellow bits, which some of you guys might have seen. They might be anything. I don't know what they are. I think they could be snare legs. They could be compost remains. They could be anything. Bash that in like that. These aren't even going to need watering because the soil's got plenty of moisture in it anyway. So there you go. How great does that look? Let's have a look. Let's stand back and look at our handiwork. There we go. Those campion or champion seeds will now start flowering in approximately six weeks time that's right we're going to we're going to look at those in six weeks time and you'll see the flowers of our labor back to you steve dog over there now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to hand you back to monty 
Don, not Monty Dog, Monty Don. And Monty Don is now going to host a regular version of Gardener's World. That might be slightly more informative than my version, but I'll tell you what, it will only be nominally more enjoyable. So I'll see you guys on the rocking and rolling, gardening and schnardling, saging and raging flip side.